Do you need to be further or no? My friends, look to the cross, the cross of Jesus Christ. It's at the cross where God demonstrated his love. It was at the cross where God provided a way for forgiveness. It was at the cross where God showed his love for you and for me. 2,000 years ago, God entered the world. He took on flesh. He lived a perfect, sinless life, the life that you and I could never live. Jesus was sinless, and then he died on the cross, paying for our sin. There's real forgiveness. There's real freedom. There's real healing, and it's found in Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. He said that nobody can come to God except through me. Jesus Christ saves, my friends. Jesus is the Savior of the world. If you're here today, I want to challenge you to open up your heart to God's great love for you. We all need a Savior, and only Jesus Christ can save. There's one name given under heaven by which we can be saved. It's the name of Jesus. It's the name of Jesus Christ. For 2,000 years, people have been trying to eradicate the name of Jesus. But I got to tell you today that God is so good that he provides a way, a way for us to know him. It's through the cross. It's through the cross of Jesus Christ. God and his great love. The Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life. You see, there's going to be a day where we all have to give an account to God. We're going to have to give an account. Are you right with Jesus Christ today? Have your sins been forgiven? You may say, I'm not a sinner, but the problem is we all sin. We all fall short to the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23, it says, the wages of sin is death, but the gift, or God demonstrates his love for us, that while we were still sinners, Jesus died for us. My friends, while you're an enemy of God, Jesus died for you. While you ignore God, he's calling you. Will you open up your heart today to Jesus Christ? Will you open up your heart to the God that demonstrated his love for you on the cross? See, Jesus is entirely different than Buddha. Jesus is different than Muhammad. Jesus is different than Krishna. Jesus is different than every other religious figure. He said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no one can come to God except through him. Think of that. No one can come to God except through Jesus. Will you let Jesus Christ into your life today? Will you let Jesus Christ change your life today? Will you let Jesus Christ have your heart? See, God, he's looking for something. He's looking for your heart. Will you let Jesus Christ have your heart today? There's many things in this world that are distractions. So go talk to those guys at the end of that. What's, the, what's that? There's a couple of priests there, and you can talk to them. Oh, I'm not a priest. I'm just preaching Jesus. There's many things in life that are distractions, distracting you from the biggest, most important thing. What will you do about eternity? See, there's going to be a day where each of us has to give an account to God for our life. And if your life has not been washed by the blood of Jesus Christ shed for sin, you're going to be in trouble. See, the Bible says that there are two eternal destinations. There's no second chances. There's no reincarnation. There's one life. We have one shot. Either eternity with God or eternity separated from God. Being religious doesn't make somebody right with God. Doing good things doesn't take away sin. Only what Jesus did on the cross can take away your sin and my sin. 
And yes, we do need God's forgiveness. See, the Bible says God will accept no sin. God will accept no sin. God is angry about sin. God is angry about sin. He's angry about this world and how people hate each other, use each other, manipulate each other. And it's all a result. It's all a result of people rejecting the truth, the truth that there is a God, the truth that God is calling us to know him. See, if people would surrender to God and let him be in charge, the world would look entirely different. The world would look entirely different if people followed the